And you are looking live at Cedar Point's Power Tower East Camera. If you're planning a trip to the Ohio Park soon, there's an offer you should know about through the end of June. The Michigan Bundle is $50 for a single day admission, free parking, and all day drinks. Check out their website for more deals. Recent surveys show the average American spends $2,000 on a vacation. That goes up to $4,500 for a family of four with hotels, airfare, and eating out. The vacation of your dreams can appear as just that, only a dream. However, as Taylor Gattoni reports, there are some ways you can save a lot of money on your summer getaways. Hotels, planes, eating out, these things all add up. But there are some simple travel tricks that will help you spend less. First, depending on the length of your stay, Airbnbs offer multi-day discounts. For a seven-night stay in a three- to four-bedroom house, NerdWallet says the average price is $213. But if you're only staying for one night, that goes up to $314. Also, many Airbnbs offer referral links that can save up to $30. USA Today reports using a VPN, or virtual private network, can save you money when booking flights and hotels online. It hides your IP address. Researchers found customers from IP addresses in the United States were charged more than people from other countries. Speaking of flights, plan ahead. It's best to book your flight 76 days prior, and research shows you can save up to $57 by booking on a Wednesday. Lastly, make the most out of your gas tank. The average summer road trip is 500 miles round trip. Experts say if you always have a half of a tank of gas, delay extra stops and drive consistently the same speed. It can save up to three miles per gallon. And don't forget to check apps such as Gas Buddy to find the best prices of gas in the area. I'm Taylor Gatoni reporting.